Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how you can send email notification to yourself or your support team when Google Form is submitted. Here, I am taking help of an issue form to raise IT-related issues. Let me fill up the form. You can also attach a file with this form. Let's submit this form. Now let me check my inbox. And here you can see the notification has been received. It was sent to the respondent and to the support team as well. You can easily configure which email IDs to put in to and CC fields. So how do you set this up for you? Before we move on, let me ask you to please subscribe to my channel to support my work. Here is the form. You can make a copy of this form from the link given in the description box. It contains a bunch of questions like name, phone number, issue category, severity level, and issue detail. File upload field is also provided. Then go to script editor. On top, you will see general settings like email, subject, and template for the email notification. This is the email template, which will be pre-processed by App Script Template Engine. You can see this template has got a few variables inside these scriptlet tags like name and data. Anyone familiar with PHP will find it easy to work with such a template. The template engine will take the past data and it will evaluate it to construct the HTML page dynamically. Later, we will see how these variables are passed to this template. Send email alert is the main function that will be triggered when the form is submitted. This function receives an event object that contains a form response. This is how we obtain form item responses. Then we loop over these items and store it inside response array and JSON array. Response array is a 2D array, while JSON array is an array of JavaScript objects. I will show you both while testing. If the type of item is file, then we convert it to file URL. The respondent email ID is grabbed like this, and here you can see we are providing email template name. Then we are passing the variable that we talked about previously. Then the template is processed to get the final HTML body. This block uses the above HTML body and sends the email along with the attachment. This line is just for debugging purposes. I am logging a few data in a separate spreadsheet that I will show you later. In the next step, we will set up a trigger. For that, go to Triggers. Click on Add Trigger. Here choose which function to run. I will select Send Email Alert. Leave this to Head. Event Source, From Form. Event Type, On Form Submit. Now hit the Save button.
This will prompt you to authorize the code. Go ahead and grant all the necessary permissions. And now you can test by submitting the form. Let me give you a quick demo. And here you can see the email notification has arrived. I am using this spreadsheet to log the form response. This is how the parsed responses look like. We can modify the solution even further. What if you want to send different emails to a different team based on service request type or category? Imagine if you want to send an email to the HR team when an issue is related to HR. For that, uncomment all the codes in this file and delete the previous file. Notice the differences in the form settings. Here, we have a conditional question called Department. This question should exist in your form, and these are its possible choices. Then we are providing different email template names, email ID, and subject line for different department selection. You can customize the different templates to suit your requirements. Then, in this block, we are accessing the department. Based on the selected department, we are accessing sender's email, template name, and subject line, which are then used to construct HTML body. And finally, mail is sent. That's it. You can browse my channel page for more videos related to Google Forms. If you liked the video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.